Hey crafty friends, this is Anat Kessler from Saturday Extravaganza. Thank you very much for joining me and today I'm creating a 5x7 canvas with a bouquet effect. Now this canvas is going to be the first in a series I'm going to call Wall of Inspiration. I'm going to hang little canvases with phrases and words that inspire me on the wall in my studio. Uh, just above my eyes so whenever I need some inspiration um, I'm gonna look up and see that so this is going to be this is going to be the first one the first canvas and let's get started so I have here a spritzer with water that I'm going to wet the canvas and if you have some excess then you can with a paper towel just wipe it out a little bit and I have here a water brush this is a, a brush that has water in a container that's attached to it. Uh, you basically use it with watercolors but I have here some ink that I'm going to turn into watercolors by using my water brush. So I'm just dipping the end of my brush on the ink pad and with the color that I have on my brush I'm coloring the canvas. Now we are going to do a few layers of this until uh, I'm going to reach the um, depth of color that I want and I'm going to use a purple and sort of an aqua teal color with both uh, shades I have two shades of that and I'm just going to cover my canvas slowly with these clouds of paint that I have here and between each layer of course we will need to dry this so it won't become one big pool of brown mud so this is the purple and you would need to just clean your brush a little bit and move on to the next color. This is a little bit more dark and vibrant and I'm just applying it in circular motion creating sort of a cloud and the amount of water that comes out of your brush which you control determines how dark or how light the color will be. So the lighter you want the more water you would need to use. If you want it darker then use less water. So I'm going to build this in layers like I said before. This is the other teal shade that I have and I'm just adding. It takes a while. It's a process. Of course you can use watercolors but I don't have too many shades of each color in, in watercolor so I wanted to use ink instead because I didn't like the colors that I had in my watercolor. I know I can mix and this was easier for me but you can uh, choose to use your watercolors and do the exact same thing. So that was the first layer and I'm now starting the second layer and you see how cloudy and pretty that is once you add water to the ink it does become like a watercolor. So just taking you through the different steps that I'm doing and it takes a while but it's fun and see how pretty that becomes and while I'm mixing on the canvas the two colors of purple and teal I, I get this kind of a really dark blue which is also pretty and adds more depth to the color scheme that I have on my canvas. So you just continue to do that and add color wherever you want and just keep on adding the color until you're happy with the background because this is going to be our background and then we're going to create our effect on it and add our sentence. and. Once you're happy with, with the background, just dry it completely and we can move to the next step. Now for the next step we need, uh, I just took regular cardstock and punched 
a few circles out in different sizes and I have here a finger dauber with some white permanent ink and what I'm gonna do is use these punched circles as a stencil to create I think I need to refill this this is kinda dry so I'm gonna use those to as stencils to create um, circles on my background now the point is to create the circles in the little taps of my dauber without uh, creating an opaque circle we want the circle to be slightly transparent so don't use a lot of ink and don't uh, create an opaque circle and I've started with the larger ones and then I'm going to the smaller circles and you just layer them the circles on your canvas slightly overlapping and since they're a little bit transparent we can see the background and that is what's creating the bouquet effect because that is the um, the background colors can uh, be seen through the circles so this is really cool effect isn't it looks like that light shining effect that we were looking for at least I was looking for so you just go ahead and do that until you're happy again with the result of the amount of circles that you have you can use uh, different sizes as many times as you want play with the transparency of the circles um, by controlling the amount of ink that you apply and you just keep on going until you're happy with what you have and I think that is such a cool effect and once you're done make sure everything is dry I'm even going to use an eraser on the pencil for those little tiny little dots just as a final touch uh, I don't have uh, a punch that is that small but while I'm talking I'm thinking wait a minute I do have I could punch with a crop what I like could punch a piece of paper but anyway you can use a the end of a pencil as well so that's fine and you can skip that part if you want to so I think my background is perfect now and I'm going to dry that completely with my heat tool and for the sentence I just I want to leave this background as it is I'm not going to add anything more on it I'm not going to embellish it or nothing look at this this is so beautiful I'm just going to leave this as is and I'm going to use I didn't even do the sides just as is and I'm going to use a black ink and a pen nib to write my sentence you know I love to work with a pen nib that is if you haven't tried it until today I really encourage you to try it because first of all it makes me feel like I'm an artist from the Middle Ages or something like Leonardo da Vinci and they used to work with the pen nib and well actually they were working with a quilt with a real feather but I don't know it inspires me and um, it's really cool to work with when I was a child I used to uh, work with this in art class so I had a teacher who actually taught me how to use it so I love that so anyway um, I've just uh, written the sentence with a pencil so I'll have something to trace because it was more than one word and I feel more comfortable just going over what I've written with a pencil and I'm just going to go over it with my pen nib a few times just until I reach the uh, look that I want and of course you can do it with a regular pen um, a permanent pen of course because remember that you have something on your background so just use uh, a permanent pen to write whatever sentence you want I wrote what you dream you become which I really believe if you set your dream uh, it can come true so I'm just going to finish this 
sentence here and you need to dip your pen nib in the ink obviously every now and then to load it with the ink and once you're happy with your sentence you are done it is ready uh, I'm so excited my first canvas for my wall of inspiration is ready and I hope you liked it and I hope you were inspired uh, if you like the video please hit that subscribe button and maybe like or comment as well thank you very much for joining me uh, I hope you were inspired I hope you had fun as much as I did see you all next time bye you guys